Have y'all ever seen a video from Everyday Days? Well, if you haven't, I'm gonna go ahead and react to one of her videos. If y'all don't know who Snow the Product is, she is a female rapper. I'd say Mexican because there's not that many out there that's well known. She's sick as fuck, lyrically. She's a great performer. If y'all wanna go check her out, go to Everyday Days. That's her channel. Her and her girlfriend are moving to a place. They uploaded a video called Officially Moving to the Ranch. Oh my God. Everyone is used to watching YouTubers moving into like a big mansion, a huge ass house. But they're moving into a ranch. So are y'all ready to react? Cause I am. Let's get it. Get ready for the moving vlog in three, two. Let's go. <laughs> is she crying? She's crying? Oh my god, Kyla, thank you so much. She's crying. I'm like crying, no. Happy tears. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're the fucking best. Oh my god, we're gonna celebrate so hard. And that's how you motherfuckers celebrate, okay? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Hey. Get out of the car. What's up, y'all? What's up, so, girl? We're back. That's snow. As promised. The moving vlog. Don't mind all the balloons back here. That's the next vlog. We're gonna talk about birthdays because we've been celebrating a lot of birthdays. And if you guys follow us on Instagram, you know we've been going in. Anyway, moving is stressful. Moving is crazy. We're still moving. You're gonna see a whole lot of this and a whole lot of. Oh shit! All right. Wow. Of... So yeah, grab your snacks. <laughs> okay. Get ready for a video on our way. The U haul up. Edo, are you ready? That camera on my face. I know you're happy I'm using a camera, you know. That's her brother. He is like the brains behind everything. He's a videographer. He's a creative part of the team. It's when I use my phone. Like, Get that camera on my phone. It's already gonna be stressful. You gotta go get the U-Haul. We got some movers, but then the moving truck got stuck because there's like a really steep hill. Oh no, y'all probably gonna have to pay oh for those damages. God. What uh. the heck is even this? Damn. So at some point we had to just send the movers home. So kind of they got paid to just like, kind of like stare at us, <laughs> mess everything up. <laughs> Them trying to work. Look, oh, oh. My birth certificate was in your drawer. Where's the rest of it? Look at Bash. Bash is trying to find First of all, don't try to make it seem like I fucked your shit up. That shit was already taped in pieces. He's like, where the And if you couldn't tell already, that's her girlfriend, Juju. Is it? I believe she's Puerto Rican. Um, where the fuck is it? Bash, smell it and go find the rest. Go! Go find it. What? <laughs> We're Cute. moving, babe. We're fucking moving. Are you ready? Mm -mm. Are you ready? Bash, are you ready? I woke you up at five in the morning. Is that the ranch? What are we doing? Wait, is that their old house or their new house? Whatever that was, very nice. I'm saying what? What is this? Saying goodbye. Saying goodbye. Explaining why. What are we doing? Why? Because we're moving. Where are we moving? No way. Dr. Phil sent us to you. He's so cute, that dog. Scratch that shit? We matching now. Oh shoot! My pants. Your hair. <laughs> I only realize I'm fantastic. I used to write my little raps. They always look right past it. Like it's average. Like I'm not who the fuck I am. Like bitch, what's happening? Porque yo tengo el So I never fit. Throughout the video, she plays her music, her own music, which is the best promotional thing to do. Why would you play anybody else's music? But because of that, my video will most likely be demonetized. It's okay. <laughs> we gave you guys a home tour of the old house, but this is the old house. Obviously, there's a couple things left. This was the old house. Here was one of the printing rooms, bathroom, my brother's old room, baby Drew's old room, my old room. Nothing to see here. I don't like it. 
the old warehouse room where we had a lot of our vlogging and running the store, all kinds of stuff. Then we had here is the original corner that we started the podcast in. Uh, oh shoot, we live. Oh okay. man. Oh, oh there's the intro be. music. We need intro music. Play us something. Yes. Oh shoot. <laughs> We're really in this B. We also had a kitchen, which I'm not gonna show y'all because it's a mess. We're about to clean that up right now. Then this was Zuli's room. And here's Which the is outside cousin. where we had our table and stuff. We have a, a lot of things to still take. This is another room, a little mini bathroom, mini everything, mini shower. Everything, mini straight living up. living room straight with the track up. lighting. You know what I'm saying? Just I do not like this house. I'm glad you guys are moving out. Everything looks so small, so narrow, so cluttered. I'm glad you guys are moving. Mind you. You can do something great with small space, but you have to be really good at it or hire somebody to do it. But that house is not yeah, he said attractive. If somebody wants to, to come through, they can stay in this place rather than a regular little room. You know, little mini condo vibes. Today we gotta move a lot of what's in here. This is my LED wall that you guys get to watch whenever I'm on stage performing. Yeah, so this is a huge fucking wall. It looks like that. Another thing we have to move. Another fun fact, she is an independent artist, so she funds herself. Everything she does when it comes to stage, uh, uh, recording, videos, she does on her own. This, this junk. We have this shed full of just junk. I'm telling you, the amount of dumb shit in this <laughs> shed. We have cocktail shades, a wig. Random eyeballs, this fucking hat, battle of the sexes, battleship, pottery, paint, dodgeballs, random Karen things. So many random things in here. Just by looking, you can see cupcake purse, rainbow purse, goggles, <laughs> glove to wash bash, never use. Throw it all out. Reeds for a saxophone. 25 bucks for some reeds that are just back here like they're trash door stopper literally not stopping any doors <laughs> gay flag random this <laughs> maybe i'll just make a video of random shit we find in this room because honestly there's way too much True. random bottle of promethazine simpson sir bro what kind of bootleg shit is this i stopped at a red light and this fucking mirror just turned who stops at the light <laughs> and the what? mirror turns this you oh shit so it's turning still did you just see that yeah i saw that because you all is so bootleg what the fuck is this shit yo i hate you haul what the freak is this She, oh hell no, I'm over here thinking it's the dog. Juju looks so guilty. Mm -hmm. Well, glue it together. Oh hell no. Wow guys, as we're moving, look what we just found. A bunch of these things. What are they called again? So we're coming from a more urban area and now we're moving to a ranch. So we've been seeing way more animals, starting by a white donkey somewhere around the corner when we were walking our dogs. This dude, we're walking the oh, dog. Oh snap! This dude pops out. Look at that! What you doing? <laughs> That's what's up. Stop harassing him in his own home. Yo, it says beware. <laughs> Warning, do not enter security dog. Uh, what about the security donkey right here? Because <laughs> he was here first. We saw a family of coyotes lives around here. What you mean? Oh, hell no. Yo, this motherfucker here. He's gonna eat bash. Yeah, you guys need to be careful because Logan Paul, his dog was taken and eaten alive I mean, by a coyote. Be careful. He's cute. Do you see him? Yeah, well, I got glasses on. I'm saying, if that's Aww. a baby, that means there's more than one. For sure. And he looks a starving. Lot of crows. Hey, everybody that saw my Facebook Live complaining about the crow. I did not kill him. I don't know what happened. All I was saying was Ooh. that crow needs to shut the fuck up and then next thing you know... I can't see that stuff. Bro, shut the fuck up. But he died <laughs> right up on the handle of the water hole, so I can't even like use it now. No, no, you can. That's nasty. 
Well, what was your logic, Edo? Well, you're like saying that it's a bad sign that the crow died, but this beautiful butterfly died, and nobody said anything saw, oh, about it that being is a bad so sign. Sad. This thing's beautiful and it died. If anything, that's more of a bad sign than a I agree. thing dying. That's good. Evil dead. Beautiful. Come back to life, please. <laughs> Come back to life, please. Aww. You don't tell me that. Probably the fucking coyotes eat shit up around here. Anything that gets uh, there was a bird on the other side too. Then uh, like a day later, all there was was some feathers. Yeah, and a bird died in my room. Oh right. You talking about that shit? No. <laughs> a bird flew in his room, flew around his room, died in his room. And then I got two layers. He grabs two towels, picks it up, and throws <laughs> it out the fucking window onto the fucking plants. <laughs> what? Yeah. Where did those towels go? Do you remember on the podcast last night when I was like, no, a dead bird inside is a bad sign. And then you guys are like, baby Drew had a live bird in his room and then it died inside. <laughs> then he threw it out the window. So bad. Maybe that's what you're doing now in the ranch life? A vulture was eating a rabbit? Oh my. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. We've seen a lot of peacocks. Are you really Where are you guys? Where is this ranch? What do they like? Do they like chicken? Or grapes? I got grapes. You want anything? No. That's a pet. That's somebody's pet. All right, and you just want to leave it alone? Yeah, he's chill. He's taking us to roll around the neighborhood. A ton of horses, which we have a 10 stall stable. So maybe in the future we can get horses, but for right now we just don't have the time for them. It's been pretty cool. So see, that's normal to see to see horses around ranches. That is normal, but a peacock? Is that normal? Bunnies all over the place. There's lizards. There's black widows. There's all kinds of yes. animals. So um, yeah, we're just getting acclimated to what ranch life is like. Hey. That's what I've always liked about this family, Snow and her brother. They do things on their own, as much as they can. They got the money to pay people to do this shit, but why? If you can do it yourself, why not save the money? You'll feel so much better about the house because you know that you, knew that you put in the work to do it. You just appreciate it more. Hey. Not only are we moving into a house, we're Cause I got a bitch in my DM. Okay, girl, I see. Well, man, so there's like a lot of other things. So we have to go like shopping for like all the tools that we're gonna need now, like leaf blowers and weed whackers and palm cutters and like all this stuff. Because obviously, you know, we're gonna do this stuff ourselves. Because why not? Facts. Okay. I cannot get sick during Leo season, so I'm taking all the precautions I can take. This is the most Leo thing you could do. Hey, I'm bilingual all day. Girl, you are so sick with your lyrics. I slept out and I don't know who's in this crowd. Need a pair and a group sets. Now I never really know who shoots this bitch down. Hey, little lady. Do you need help? She's a G. People pay a lot of money to go to the gym. Getting a free workout. That's one way to look at it. She's a G. If you lose any more weight, you're gonna disappear. I have this theory. I feel like a lot of times people hit the gym for an hour and a half or whatever they do, but then they pay other people to like do other stuff. But right now that we're in quarantine, I figured why not just do the stuff ourselves because now we're getting a workout out the way and also we're getting out the house and not being bored and also uh. we're learning a new skill and also uh. it's quarantine and Pretty you know, girl. we're really doing shows right now, so why not save some money? Plus the obvious, we're Mexican. <laughs> Who else is gonna do our gardening other than ourselves? That was kind of racist, but I'm Mexican, so. <laughs> you can say it. <laughs> This bitch. Leaves everywhere. Babe, are you having a blast? Kind of. Like, it's a workout. I'm cleaning the house. I wanted this ranch, so I'm so good. We got the hammock area. Look at that. She's been running around the property with a leaf blower, <laughs> and now she's doing this. Oh my God. We just filled that bitch up, and we're not even done. Juju, what the hell are you doing? Girl, help her! You're just filming her picking up these leaves with this rake. A little bit of common oh sense. God. Sorry guys, I couldn't find anything and babe needed my help. Baby, just because you 
think you act like a boy doesn't mean you're oh, not a beautiful, gorgeous woman. That was um, a compliment, nonetheless. <laughs> I forgot to tell you guys, this is Snow the Product's son. With a previous marriage. If you guys remember, we were trying to get this ranch for a while, but then this global pandemic kind of happened, so then it was kind of on hold. So the ranch accumulated a lot of like dust and like leaves and like grew and like we had to not only move in, but come in and do some of the heavy lifting and some of the sweeping and raking. Mm. However, I figured a leaf blower couldn't be that difficult. Okay, first steps, times, south. I see it, I see it. Don't tell me. Oh, here it is. One, two, three, four, five. Pull engine attempts to start, then set to run, then pull until it starts. Oh, shit. Uh -huh. Keep doing it, girl. There you go. Can't give up. I see a leaf blower, I, it reminds me of Ghostbusters. And y'all know why. If you've seen the movie, you know why. First I started out with like a battery operated one, then I got a nice little gas one, and then I got like a backpack gas one because I figured why not, let's just go full go all out. bonus level and um, it turned into a tornado turns out it's not like that easy to like leaf blow it's not like especially since I'm still trying to figure out how it works out I might hit some of these like dudes that do gardening and then uh. bring them over here and they're gonna teach me a master class on how to run the leaf blower because that shit was wilding and all that ended up happening was it feels like I was pushing the leaves around the house I think <laughs> they pretty much did a whole lap and I'm pretty sure they're still out there all right so the new house Damn. comes with these cherubs and like that one's oh. not that bad but what happened to him like hey man what's Ooh, going that's scary. On? imagine in the dark looking at that that reminds me of a haunted house yeah you know i mean miguel on hell Fido, hear me out this is your area, and you got this area because you want to be by yourself, but look at this. Mini area for me. Look, I'm putting my... Look at you. I want to be near you so much. I'm, I put my laptop at risk on the little corner. Can't I just put a little desk right here for myself? Wouldn't that be so great? Yeah. Are you being for real, or are you lying? Yeah, it's cool. All right, cool. I'm going to do it right now. You think I won't? You think I won't? I already had it right here. Ha! I already had a little, little bit of a desk right here. Oh, sorry. It's one of these right here. Pull it over there. Bash. I mean, Benji, your owner don't know. This dude don't move. He's been in the same spot for six months. <laughs> For six months. Hey. Okay, so I want to know if they did a ranch tour. They really didn't show it in this video. But if they haven't, hopefully they'll do it later because I'm so curious to know how it looks like. It's already spacious, you can see it. Alright you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.